their heads cut Hello. off. No, it's your head, it's too big. It's your head. So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we've got a really exciting video for you. We're doing A, asking my mum questions you're too afraid to ask yours. So, I did one of these with my dad. Um, it's, hang on, it's more closer to me. This one's going to be better. No, it's not. <laughs> um, I did one of these with my dad and you all really liked it. I said, you've gone up, yeah? <laughs> I just know you're all going to like it, okay? Um, so I thought I'd do one with my mum as well to make it fair. Um, if you haven't watched the other one, go and watch it because it's really good and my dad's so cute. And yeah, I'm really excited. So... How this is, works is I just put on my story, what questions you want to ask your mum, but you would be too afraid to. Oh my god, it's flashing red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were gone for like four hours. But we're back now, because my camera died and we went grocery shopping. So yeah, anyway, this video is, I kind of explained, we look, no, I look absolutely awful now. Is we crooked? No. I feel we are. We're not. You need to not frown and open your, your eyebrows like that. That's because I've been shopping now and I'm not as relaxed as I was earlier. Well, you need Do to I look get different relaxed. from the clip before? Answers down below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, at the end of me and Bradley's video, you went comment down below which hairstyle you should think I should have. <laughs> Alright. Has he got more than one? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a perm? <laughs> right, we've got 17 questions mm -hmm. and we're going to get them all answered today. Hopefully. Um, don't hold back. Okay, do I have to look at you when I answer or look at the camera? Look at the camera because you're telling them. Oh, okay. Um, me and my mum are really close, so I just I can really say anything to her. So I thought, why not do this video? It's quite good. This probably will be a good video. Um, I've seen some of these. They're quite boring and it's just like... I thought I'd oh, do my own. By the way, son, I've done that to my hair. Stop. <laughs> embarrass me. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And there was one more thing I was going to say and I can't remember it. Oh yeah, if we like say something in this video that you don't like, we it's a joke. <laughs> Take it as a joke. Like we're not, if my mum's answers, they're her answers, like don't take it as recommendation. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh no, no, everyone's parents are different. You so this forward is too much. This is my parenting <laughs> this, technique. Yeah, and they've clearly done amazing. <laughs> okay. We're going to start off with an Ask Bradley. What would you do slash say if I was pregnant right now like, and I wanted to keep it? And I was like, I'm keeping it. I would be gutted because um, you've got such a bright future ahead and I know what absolute hard work it is. Um... So I would be gutted. You know, Bradley, Sorry. do you know what he said? He went, he went, well, I'd be over the moon. What? Yeah, he went, I'd be well happy. He wouldn't. And then he was like, well, obviously, I'll be scared for your future and that, but I'd be over the moon. I suppose it wouldn't be as bad for you, you as would it you would for me? some others, because you'll still do your By the way, if you're pro-choice, just click, if you're pro-life, just click off. I personally would get an abortion if I got pregnant now. Hmm. Obviously, if I was being, because I like, oh my god, if I got pregnant now, I personally would get an abortion because I physically wouldn't. I'm, I'm a kid myself. I wouldn't be able to bring it up right if I had a kid now. Therefore, it wouldn't be fair. Do, mm. do you agree? Yeah, I agree. You would recommend me that, wouldn't you? Mm. And if you don't like that, then don't judge me. We don't judge you. That's just my opinion. I would rather wait to have a baby when I can actually bring it up right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. What do you think when you see me and Ellie's being affectionate? It's like if we kiss in front of you or anything. What do you think? A lot of people put that for some reason. Um, I don't bother me. I've got used to it. Doesn't it? I suppose it... I don't know. Was it weird in the beginning? I can't remember. We didn't... We weren't really as... No. Ellie's really cheeky in front of... That sounds weird, but like, isn't he cheeky in front yeah, of you? Like, very cheeky. He's very cheeky. Like, he will like, call my own babe. And he... Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's very... Che like, he'll kiss me in front of her. And yeah, like, like yeah, he, he I goes, think it bothers he me. goes, look, no. Kaz, we're kissing. I'm kissing your daughter, <laughs> and he'll start kissing me. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, no, I don't. No, don't bother me. That's not quite good. Um, right, a lot of people ask this: mm. how to ask your mum to go on the pill? Just ask her. <laughs> no, but people can't. I think. Obviously, they don't want to ask because they obviously want to get the, be on the pill for sex reasons. To not get pregnant however you just need to say to her 
I'm getting really bad period cramps and I've heard the pill helps. If you think she's going to say no, but you want to be safe, then yeah, I would go that route. Mm. Um, but if you can be honest with her, try The way speak. Summer gets her way with me a lot of the time is that she's very grown up about it and like she would say and she's she challenges a bit so if I sort of just said no you're not and then she'll say why do you want me to end up pregnant then <laughs> what can you say I'm no, very I I'm very <laughs> enticing let's go and get it <laughs> I don't know what mum wouldn't let their kid on the pill mm. it's not really a big well, deal well it depends what age you're asking obviously if you're like 12 then. yeah obviously that would but some yeah. people gone that young for actual other reasons yeah yeah but i think you should just go for it okay did your first time hurt what <laughs> oh that's bradley worst questions he was loving it come on it's a bit personal oh come on answer I it i can't even remember it was years ago did it hurt yeah it did i think I could have been drunk, so it might have. In our video, Bradley went, we did it six times in one night. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not... He's a nightmare. He went through them all out the window. <laughs> I think I was a bit drunk, so. I... Yeah, you were. I, I think it probably drunk. didn't didn't hurt that much, no. <laughs> Some people bleed when they do it the first time. It's really <laughs> common to bleed. Is it? Yeah. I hope no one from my work is watching this. Oh, well, that? that's not a problem. That's fine. All right, so let's, let's move on. Oh, you're so cute. It's all right. Come She's on. She's a bit different from my dad, guys, isn't she? <laughs> right, don't look at my questions. Right. right, how would you feel if I got a plastic surgery? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through each different one, so because okay. there's all different things. How would you feel if I got a, a boob job? And they were like, here. Um... We don't need to go through each one because I would be furious if you'd done any of it. <laughs> Absolutely disgusted, furious, and I, I just don't know. I just would be furious. Why? What if? Okay, what if? But why? I don't get it. Well, I think because you're mine. You're my child, and I think you're perfect as you okay, are. Okay, if I had a massive lump in my nose, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. It's just this is just an example. Would you? If I had like a lump like this, would you let me get a nose job and be? all right with it if it was like like a lump like that and it was really getting me down yeah. my whole life yeah that's different i think and if i was completely flat like nothing and i, I get really insecure and then I had a boob job like to be like this that i am now mm. the boob ones worry me a bit why because i just think they're dangerous oh yeah. I, I just think no i don't like that what I've about lip stories. filler no they just no no i don't look good some people's lip fillers look well good if they go from having. It's when people. Mummy, what if someone's watching and they get upset? What well, for? I was out to give my <laughs> honest opinion. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay. Some a lot of people put this. What do you think on losing your virginity under sixteen? What do you mean? What do I think? Like, do you think? Oh, that's really wrong. Or do you think? Um. This is a difficult one for me because I met um, my dad. dad when I was 15 and I also remember what it's like to be a teenager. Um, so, it's let's put it this way, it's, it's something I would expect. No, I feel like no one waits till 16 anymore. No, I, no I would expect it if you're in a... Yeah, I, I would. Th I think it completely depends. If you're like... 14 and you'll go and you mm. and it's like a one night stand you know it's just a bit like that's wrong yeah but if you're in an actual relationship and you've been in it for a long time and you're obviously safe then yeah obviously we know it's illegal but we're no we know really no one waits no one's like oh i'm gonna wait till 16 if you're if you're gonna want to do it you're gonna do it do you know what i mean no one's gonna mm. wait because it's the legal age it's not really like, if you're 15 it's one week before your birthday and it's illegal and then another week you're 16 and that's fine. It's, it's a bit yeah. mad if you ask me. And it's like, what if you want to do it right then? <laughs> um, what's your opinions on nudes? Who? Like, what do you think of sending nudes? I think it's very dangerous. There you go. You've Always. 
don't even want to look at myself now, let alone send them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think dangerous could always come back to bite you on the bum. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, definitely not. Don't ever, don't ever trust a man with your nose. Or a woman. Mm. I just wouldn't know. There's Too more risky. there's more than two genders. Well whatever. I'm joking. Do not send nudes. We well, can if you want. Well you can, but it could it could cause you a lot of embarrassment and I wouldn't trust anyone. But if you're confident in your body. <laughs> well yeah, if you don't care if they get yeah, if you're not bothered if they get out in the open then don't worry about it. But usually the ages that do it like around teenage years. It's also then, illegal, isn't it? It's well, like, yeah. But people are gonna do it, aren't they? They are, but yeah, I wouldn't. I'd advise against it. I read that um, even a married couple, she trusted him, so they had videos and stuff, and obviously they were married, videos and photos. And um, when they split up, they've been together like fifteen years. So you think oh. you can trust them? No, all out, all out oh, exposed. Oh, that's up. really bad. Mm. So I just wouldn't. Uh, that's never, awful. never leave any evidence. Really bad. Yeah, I know. I read that <sighs> from the sun. No, <laughs> this woman, honestly, as the sun notification. They I don't know why they fight. came up. It's and she rings the papers throughout the day, and it's just like, grow up. <laughs> I don't even read the newspapers. I'm reading read for the years. Sun. I don't know why they're suddenly papers. popping up. Anyway, definitely subscribe. <laughs> um, what would you do if I cheated on Ellis? I'd be really disappointed. Would you tell him? No, I'd make you tell him. And what if I didn't? You would. I'd make you. No. <laughs> no, but what if I, I didn't and he kept coming round and you kept seeing his little face? <laughs> would you end up telling him? No, I would make you tell him. What if I never told him? Yeah, but I could make you. You couldn't. I could. You couldn't. I could. I How? have motherly powers. What? We can go like that and then... But I would be really disappointed because I've always taught them that if you meet someone, it happens, but finish with the other person first don't be selfish because there's nothing worse than being cheated mm, on I so agree. always finish first yeah i no. agree um i think if you cheated on bradley i'd tell him would you yeah well i'd tell you to tell him first but then if you wouldn't because i with my daughterly powers <laughs> yeah. i would obviously tell him would you want me to tell you if he cheated on you yeah, then i know yeah. Exactly. I'd know anyway, he's rubbish at lying. Yeah, he's sort of caressing my tripod with your bare foot. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> um, okay, I've got two questions that are kind of together. Have you ever done drugs? No, never. Um, and what would you do if I did them? And, now, and I need to actually reiterate this. What would you do if I had tried a bit of... Um, and I came home and I just tried a bit? What would your opinion would be, be? I'd be scared and gutted mm. um which would be the same for alcohol as well but i'd alcohol? accept yeah when i come home i'm drunk you're scared and gutted yeah why because i don't like it it's horrible it's scary oh anything that look you've made me frown now it's okay i'd be gutted yeah but i would understand understand that you're a teenager and these things happen and what you if, have to try stuff and what if i um oh <laughs> that's what bradley did he <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd be so disappointed i just i can't even contemplate it i know you never would anyway i wouldn't but... i said this in the other video but if you didn't watch it i literally was at a party and everyone was smoking weed around me offering me and i just didn't take it because i just I don't know, I don't like the smell. I just, I just I feel know, a bit I was gross. Very interested. You're just like, ooh. Um, do, right, this one's coming. Do you get annoyed at what I wear? No. I, people make it sound like I go out nude. People, the, all the questions are like, does your mum get annoyed at what you wear? I bet she tells you off what you wear. Does she, does she make you delete all your Instagram posts? I bet she don't like you wearing this. They make it sound like I literally wear nothing out. No, don't bother me at all. You want to meet her nan? <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me at all. I was in Asda. There's been a couple, in fact, there's probably been one, possibly two that I've told you to take off. There's of been Instagram. one. One then. Yeah, only one. And that, I, but generally, I, that was no. silly. Mm. 
but no. But I don't really wear, like, I don't see... I don't see anything wrong with what you wear. No, I think... from that one time and then... Yeah. That's more that you wasn't wearing something. No, I was, I was actually wearing... Right, I'm not having no, a it looked again. like you were. Okay, right, sharp. Um, but, like, people are like, oh, your mum lets you post bikini hauls. At the end of the day, you walk around the beach with hundreds of people looking at you at the beach. So, how's that really that different I w to be fair I wasn't happy about the bikini hauls in the beginning the first couple she done I made her just hold them up and not put them that on. was like two years ago when I was like 13 though oh but anyway it, that took a little bit of getting used to but as I say summer has a way of with words that make you think mm, yeah yeah because it's showing girls to me <laughs> <laughs> well, I like watching bikini hauls. I want to see what the bikinis look like. Yeah. No one did bikini hauls. How will people cope? Yeah. yeah. End of the day, that is it. Um, and yeah. Um, what do you think of a sexy lingerie? What? What on show? Or... <laughs> no, what, what's your opinion on it? Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, I like it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else want me to say? What would you do if I had loads? Well, you haven't, yeah? <laughs> I haven't. I have not. <laughs> what are them knickers? You can't call them knickers. <laughs> that is not. That... <laughs> Don't even cover your bum. <laughs> uh, right, go away. <laughs> Actually, no, once I was cleaning, like, we were cleaning out your drawers and you had something really weird in there. It weren't really weird. It was lingerie and I was about 10 and it really freaked me out. Yeah, it wasn't weird. It, it was. was just lingerie. I see you as like a like, like pajama girl. Like I a, am now. You're like a pajama mum. I don't know. I just see you like with chocolate on the sofa and it just doesn't. <laughs> okay. Right, this one, was, this one made me really sad. It was so common. How to tell your mum you're in a relationship. Oh, yeah. I, when I got together with Ellis, I told my mum every day the lead up to it, didn't I? Mm. And the minute we got together, I told her because I just can't... I feel so bad for people that can't tell their parents things like that. And I don't know... I can't understand how. Like, Well, I think it... I mean, don't get me wrong. It did feel weird and worrying and I still get all the same feelings. But I still remember what it was like to be your age. And I think that's what a lot of parents don't do. Mm. Um, it it is only out of love that they stop everything because they just want to protect you forever mm. and I want to do that as well but the side of me that is different you care more about my feelings as well yeah I, I just um, but yeah I still get all the feelings that it was weird and I was scared yeah and... I had to pick the one uh, ages away as well yeah I know <laughs> no sense but, but um, you want me to go out with a boy around here but um <laughs> Yeah, so it's a shame if you can't tell them, but, you know, and they, can, they are within their rights to stop you doing it if you're under 16, stop you having a boyfriend or going that, out, but... How can you stop them having a boyfriend under 16? I don't know why. 16? I don't know why you, they would been, that, but... We've hit my, you've been with Bradley since 15. Well, that is, one of the, that is one of the reasons, I think, that I don't see it as a lot of other people. Like, oh, she's too young to be in a relationship. Because you've met... Yeah, because I met Bradley then, then... I don't, my I don't at all, I wouldn't look at it like that. But no. I, that's quite rare, so I suppose a lot of people would think, oh, she's too young to be in a relationship. And Me and Ellis got together when I was 14, and that was obviously a bit younger than you, but still... Yeah, but you're more mature than I was. Really? Yeah. Like, I can't imagine Ellis getting in a relationship in less than a year, like I no. did. It's just different with everyone, do you know what I mean? That's a good answer. Everyone was asking this. Appropriate age to shave down there. I don't know why. No one knows. Everyone what would you want to know? Right, I'm explaining. So my mum's never grown. understood this. I, I have always shaved down there since I was about 11. Like, as long as I can remember. Because I just feel dirty. I'm not saying it is dirty. But personally, I hate body hair on me i cannot stand one bit of body hair on me you're right weirdo, i have to shave yeah. everywhere like everywhere so that's why when girls like oh my god i wish boys would let us have body hair on down there why would that like i couldn't get that i don't even want my own body hair why would a boy want bod that hair 
down like i don't get it it's like i don't even like it so yeah i think shave whenever it's i mean it's not like your well, mum's me answering it no it's like a combo as well oh. um you you can come shave after. when you want but quite frankly i can't be asked did you when you were younger no you didn't when you were younger have you never shaved it occasionally trimmed it a little bit <laughs> And you're not worried about your work friends watching that. <laughs> you, you thought that was my hairy legs. It's not. It's just grown down from there. No. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Do you when you, you tried to put that remover cream powder oh, on it? She just, wants to oh. use remover. Why did you do that? That, that bit? stunk. That honestly. Uh, that, that was, was awful, awful. Oh. At, don't ever use hair removal cream don't just shave it but then i get you oh. get razor bumps i tried waxing mine the other day that went well didn't yeah. it yeah burst a blood vessel no. <laughs> i had to show her it it was awful hmm. this it, it's not it's not quite what you call bikini wax what no a brazilian wax painful yeah <laughs> Right, everyone was asking us how to not be scared when being intimate with someone. Drunk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I honestly would not be the best person to ask because I was really painfully shy when I was younger. Yeah. We're filming! Step um, yeah, I was painfully shy so I, I wouldn't. No, be better off asking someone who is not painfully shy. Um, how to not be scared? Well, to be honest, I just think do it with the lights off. <laughs> no, like right. So when people say that, do you? I think they mean like I don't know how to explain it, but like, why are you scared? No, <laughs> that came out wrong. I can see why you're scared, obviously, but at the end of the day. If you're at that stage where you're scared to be intimate with them, clearly you're not ready. Yeah, that is true. You're not. If you're scared to be intimate with them, yeah, you're not ready. That is very true. Don't do it till you feel comfortable. Yeah. Like, why would you want to? Why would you want to do it? It's like you won't go ice skating if you're scared of ice skating, would you? No, that so is very true. So don't have intimacy with someone until you're not scared of it. Mm, I agree. Like, do you mm. get what I mean? And if you're like, oh, I think that question. And for example, like, you're hungry. Is that my belly yeah. rumbling? That's funny because Bradley's one was rumbling. Oh, no, really? Last one. Yeah. Just keep making us do it light. Oi! Um, what I was going to say, if you're insecure about your body, um, I would just. Why are you looking at me? I was just checking my hair out. No. Right, so for example, I know actually I've heard this a lot. Some people, like, for example, I've said for example a million times, insecure about like, their boobs or something. If you are having sex with <laughs> but that might just mean kissing by intimacy yeah but people i put that because I, I, I people meant that mm. um like you can still do it with a bra on do you know what i mean like don't do things until you feel comfortable if you do feel comfortable doing a certain thing and not the other i just do that but don't do it whilst you're scared no do you agree? Yeah, the magpie, I agree. You salute it quick. It's alright. Mr. Magpie, how's your wife and family? <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, do old people have sex? Well, how are you not classing me as old? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit cheeky. <laughs> old people. What? Really old people? <laughs> no, like, like my age. Like between 40 to yes. 80. Yes. Who's asking these silly questions? Loads of people. Really? Like, pe even people older yeah. than me. Why do you think people go off and have affairs and leave their husbands and wives? No, but I just still think some people don't do it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> have you ever disliked any of my friends? And then say, if you have or not, and then whisper. Um. I don't think I've disliked any, no, I think think you dislike them at times because whenever a friend is horrible you then don't like them but then when you make up then you're all right um what was i saying <laughs> thing about friends oh yeah yeah so um 
Try when, when they you can. when they <laughs> um, upset you, I didn't like them. But then when you made up, yeah, then I like them. Do you know who Bradley said? Who? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't like the first one. You don't like a lot of people. No. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Um, would you ever go through my phone without asking? You have, haven't you? Yeah. What, recently? I can't get in it, can I? Yes. Probably I... more when you were younger. Did you Not so much when I was now. younger? I can't really remember. You used to go for Alice's, didn't you? Yeah, you used Why? to go for Alice's. When she was like in year six. Yeah, because... Because it was interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it was... Do you remember we used to love reading them? <laughs> that was so funny! <laughs> but, um, but the, to, to be honest, it, it was never that interesting. You let me have your Instagram recently, didn't you? I let, I let her look into my... Because you tell me most stuff anyway. Because you're not in anyway. my Snapchat. You'd want to be in my Snapchat. Because you tell me most stuff anyway. It doesn't really... Yeah. I don't really know what... I mean, I wouldn't really want to see, read you my message between, like, certain people. Like, I wouldn't really want to read your messages between you and Ellis. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Why? You can read them. Don't make it weird. No, but it would be weird, wouldn't it? Why? Because it would. But what are you suggesting we talk about? Private. I don't know. A bit disgusting, aren't they? Oh, making it hard for you, aren't I? You sleepy? Yeah. You sleepy? I'm hungry. Oh, it's so cute. You've really messed my hair Right, up. show me your hair. I cut her hair and it was... Like, turn your head. <laughs> I cut her hair. <laughs> it was straight, but then when I put it in a ponytail... <laughs> it was really straight at the back. I was like, whoa, I'm like some next level hairdresser. I was cutting it all good. It looked dead straight. Put it in a ponytail. Look at the state of it. Half of it's there, and the other half is down there. That, that is out. awful. She's cute. Any more? No, that's it. Oh. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good fun. Um, if you have any more video ideas for my mummy and me, then comment down below. Um, actually, we could do... I want to do this challenge. My mum dresses me for a week from my wardrobe. So, for the mm -hmm. one week, you've got... got hardly anything in there. Oh my god! Oh no, I forgot the drawers. Yeah. No, I need to show you my drawers because you. Oh. Do, that's disgusting. No, I forgot the drawers. Yeah. Right. So I think that'll be a fun video because I feel like your combos would be that'd good. Be really fun. Would you want to do that? Well, I mean, you have to go out in it no matter what. Yeah. So we'll have to like do a walk every day, obviously. Yeah. Right, and then. like obviously and go shopping. Yeah. Yeah. You're excited now, aren't you? <laughs> um. Also, if you have any video ideas for me or my dad as well, then comment down below me and my mum. None for me and my sister. I always get questions. She doesn't like being in videos. So no videos with her. Just my mummy and him. He's and the dogs. Here. If you want a dog, like all about my dogs video. We traumatised one earlier. Oh, I'm putting that back on. That was Basically, awful. we bought him a bark collar because my mum's working from home and he barks all the time. Like, anything the slightest little noise he'll bark at and there's other dogs as well and they're so annoying and he always barks them to try and get their attention he does that don't he to try and get their like a, a chat and my mum can't work because she has to do like dictations on the phone and everything and answer the phone so it's impossible so we've got this bark collar that basically like goes beep um, we googled it first and it said it wasn't crawl so i bought it off amazon and we just tried it this morning it's traumatic. You explain. Absolutely dog. traumatic. He was shaking, um, so we took it off. But he got used to it the second time, and it does work. But then when I felt here, like there's two little nodules there, it's just horrible. And they dig into me, and then I put it around her neck, and it was like that. Yeah. And I thought that was really mean. I was getting really sad. Yeah, so I think that's I don't a waste think... of And he's, he was sitting on her, her lap going oh, like that, shaking. So oh, little oh, chippy baby. Oh, horrible. I'm not... Oh, yeah, I can't... I'd rather embark. I can't put up with that. That is sad. Poor little thing. He looked absolutely mm. so traumatised. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, you'll be seeing my mummy, mummy very soon. Um, we're actually doing a bleach in my mum's head, doing highlights in it, so that'll be up. So you do a better job than that. <laughs> Just sure, she can. I'm watching tutorials. I didn't watch cutting hair tutorials, did I? Which I should have. You should have. Yeah. Anyway.
anyway, really, 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 really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll do, I'll do a quick IOTD because people ask. My leggings are from Fashion Nova. And this is a, a vintage secondhand Dior jacket. I'm doing a whole, like, video about that, about the secondhand things I've bought. Zara. Zara and your leggings are from probably Primark. Mm -hmm. And your beautiful face is from Dior. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we really, really hope you enjoyed the video. All of that. Um, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Good dinner. <laughs> what am I having? Are you cooking me dinner? Um, Please. I mean, oh, I don't want pasta. I could cook myself pasta. <laughs> no, I've got the chips and the things out. It can have that tonight. Oh, okay. I'm not don't. doing. I'm not doing. Oh, it's too late for cooking. It's okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help? Yeah. Okay, right. Love you all. Bye. Bye. No, you got to smash the camera. No. Yeah, smash it. <laughs>